Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do an update of the Perfect Palette Tag. And um, I was watching my old one and it's just like not very good quality and just, I just wanted to. And before we start, um, when I was watching YouTube videos, I wanted to do um, palettes that um, are finished, complete palettes. Um, you know, some are limited edition of course and some aren't, but um, mainly like complete palettes that makeup companies come out with like um, the naked palette rather than you customizing a palette like that's your customized made palette but I'd rather get one that I'd rather mention one that's like you know you've like that you've bought as its complete set question number one is best packaging and when I was like looking at some YouTube videos about the pet about pet about best packaging um, some of them were like, m majority of people were like, looking at, it's good for traveling, but there's already a question in here that's best for traveling, so I didn't want to do one that's like, oh, this one's, this one, I love it because the, the colors are blah, 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 and it's really good for traveling. I wanted to do one that's like, because there's already a question in there, I wanted to do one that's like, I like it because of the packaging, like, it's cute, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not really looking... At like oh it's really good for traveling it's a really good size you could just throw it in your purse and stuff like that and like no um so for best packaging I'm really gonna have to give it to um, my Oz palettes from Urban Decay this is Glinda's and this is Theodore's let's just show you um, Theodore's Theodore is my favorite witch um, of the Oz so this is the packaging really nice and dark and like has six shadows two of them are duos so it really comes with eight and a really nice big set mirror and um, it comes with an eyeliner like the sample size which they last forever anyways and then also um, how to do Theodore's look and this freaking amazing the uh, super saturated lip high shine gloss or something like that those for me are best packaging just to, just because they're adorable or windy case like really nailed on it and question number two is best color payoff. I'm about to shout my electric palette out. This palette, it's not even an eyeshadow palette, it's a pressed pigment palette, which who uses these for pressed pigments? I mean, you, you can, like I do, I have before, but like mainly people use it for eyeshadow. This palette is so pigmented. It is so pigmented, it is ridiculous. Like, are you... Are you kidding me? Like these colors are insane. How pigmented these are. Like this is all you need if you're a makeup artist and you want like intense colors cuz like everybody needs something like this. Like even though you might not use it every day, most versatile. And I'm going to have to go with but these are the most versatile to me just because it's 12 satin or was eight satin eight matte um shadows so that's why i think it's most versatile so you don't have to do like um like over shimmery or like you want some like a little bit of shade over to your all matte look and like of course you can do like a little daytime look and then like an evening look so number four is best for traveling see i told you there's a question for best for traveling already um for me, traveling, it depends on how long I'm going to be gone and um, where I'm going. So there's two palettes, but by the same time, I'll be gone like a, like a day or two. I will just take my Naked Basics. Um, I reach for this a lot, actually. And um, little simple basics. Name's perfect for it, Naked Basics. Um, love this palette is gorgeous it's everything you need if you're gonna just be gone for the day or, or night or something like that and if I'm gonna be on like more than like a day or two I will take my naked two naked two is my favorite out of all three of the naked palettes um, is gorgeous and I mainly really like it just because of this brush I use this brush all the time uh, but yeah, Naked 2 is my favorite out of all the Naked palettes, but that's why I think it's best for traveling and like it's really sturdy um, and like 
this is like seriously this is such sturdy packaging it's kind of ridiculous everything i've said is urban decay because urban decay is freaking awesome like that biggest regret there's only been two regret shot uh two regret palettes i've ever had um and i returned them so i don't have them and it is like you know i know this was all hyped up about it, but it was the um two face a few of my favorite things palette i already did a review about it why i didn't like it and stuff like that um i returned that and the, i know a little bit of hype is going on about um the it cosmetics it cosmetics naturally pretty palette volume one or something like that it i didn't like it so i returned that so those are those are like the biggest regrets i have so those are already retur returned but for a palette I still have, it has to go to the Urban Decay Ammo Palette. See, like, Urban Decay is pretty awesome, but there are missed palettes, like I'm mentioning in this. And <sighs> nothing special about it. There's already a few, pa there's already a few colors in here that I already have that are in different palettes, like Smog and Sin and Chopper. Those are already different palettes, but like, this is so ridiculous. There's no matte shades in here. Are you kidding me? No matte shades in here. What do you expect? What do you expect me to do? My eyes be a disco ball? No. Um. This it is so shimmery like. And seriously, Urban Decay put a freaking sponge applicator in here, like. Even even Went Wild is putting brushes in palettes now. So like, if this Urban Decay high end makeup company can put sponge or yeah put sponges in there, but like a drugstore like cheaper alternative puts freaking brushes in their palette, like Urban Decay, you need to like fix that. Like <laughs> get rid of these freaking sponge applicators in your palette. Like when I think of a palette, I think of a complete palette I can do a complete eye look with. I don't have to go from, oh, I'm just gonna get some shattered in my in my lid, but I'm gonna go to my naked palette and get my buck and put in my crease because there's no match shade at all in here. So biggest regret. Sorry I had a little rant a little bit. <laughs> Best color names. I'm gonna have to go to the chocolate bar palette. Um I think these color names are so adorable. Like, I don't know them all, but um, just because, like, they decided not to put them onto the freaking palette itself. Um, uh, I think these, like, color. Because, like, you could see the theme that this company is going with. Like, you could see that it's obviously a chocolate theme, but you can see it's obviously a chocolate bar palette. And like over here, just like the most adorable names. Um, there's strawberry bonbon, white chocolate, milk chocolate, hazelnut, caramel brulee. So, shout out to Too Faced of the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. They freaking least used. Um, the Urban Decay Feminine palette. I got this last year for my birthday slash graduation. Um, it has six shades and has like. It comes with this little tiny lip junkie and this um, mirror and it's like the zip up one just like the smoke palette which the smoke palette is actually like Urban Decay smoked palette and Urban Decay electric palette those are like the most color paid off I'm not even lying like a smoked palette is so buttery it makes me want to cry but that's a whole other subject um this I don't like these colors are really pretty it's just like that i just don't reach for it often like can you just see this as like an everyday palette they use i mean if yes if you're looking for like a specific color you can reach for this palette but other than that i really don't use it that often and the color pigmentation is amazing you know don't get me wrong but it's just that i don't use it very often question is most loved most used in desert island it would be the Naked palette. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, yeah, it's just like, just like, ev like, just everybody needs colors like this in their life. If you're, 
if you want if you want to invest in a really good palette and a really good palette that you use all the time to get your money's worth out of it get the naked palette it is so versatile it's bronzy it makes your eyes freaking pop like a freaking weasel so those are all the questions i hope you guys enjoyed this video um also if you have um your favorite palettes leave them in the comments below i would love to read them if you um and also if you have any suggestion palettes of what i should get um leave them also in the comments below if you have a tutorial on any of these palettes that you want me want me to do leave them in the comments below or any other palettes that you can think of all right um i'll talk to you guys later bye